How you store and share documents and data on your organization's computer network is a critical part of being cyber ready. In general, it's better to avoid using USBs, also called memory sticks and thumb drives, because they can be infected with a virus that can take down your system. Here are some quick facts that highlight how important it is to use secure ways to store and share documents and data. The shift to remote work and hybrid workplace has made it more important than ever to be aware of how to safely store and share documents and data. Sometimes the easiest way exposes the biggest risks. So you might need to change your behavior a bit and favor security over convenience to be cyber ready at work and at home. Cybersecurity defense is only as strong as the weakest link. Don't be the weak link. If you get hit by a cyber attack, it can be devastating. There are a few simple steps that you can take to become great at secure storage and sharing. We know that USBs are convenient, but they can also be really dangerous because they can spread computer viruses. In general, don't use USBs, hard drive, or other removable media to store or share data. And never pick up USBs at a trade show or events. It's far safer to use cloud storage and file transfer services. In some critical cases, some people in your organization may need to use USBs. Your cyber leader will predetermine what these cases are and exactly what steps you need to take to use USBs safely. So just because you happen to see someone in your organization using USBs, it doesn't mean it's okay for you or everyone else to use them. The goal is to create a culture that avoids using USBs and removable media as much as possible. You may be wondering how to store and share documents and data if you're not supposed to use USBs. The answer is using cloud-based services for storing and transferring documents. Your cyber leader will let you know specifically what your organization wants you to use and how to use it. Some of the common ones are SharePoint, Google Cloud, iCloud, Box, and Dropbox. One important skill for everyone in your organization to have is knowing where a document is actually being stored. For example, is it on the cloud or on your hard drive? This will help with security and with version control when you're working on a document together with your coworkers. The primary focus of cyber readiness is to prevent attacks, but no matter how good you get at prevention, bad things can happen. In most small companies, backups are something that the cyber leader or your IT consultant manages centrally. Now we're gonna get a little more technical, but don't worry, we'll make it quick and it's useful for you at work and at home. First, we'll introduce you to antivirus software. This is software that scans emails, attachments, and even USBs for computer viruses. It's a good idea to always use antivirus software on all of your laptops, tablets, and smartphones. Next, we'll introduce you to encryption. Encryption means that the data is scrambled, so if an attacker got into your system, they couldn't see or use what they find. Now stick with us. There are two levels of encryption, and you want both. Encryption at rest means the data is scrambled while it's being stored. Encryption in transfer means the data is encrypted when it's being moved through an email attachment or a cloud-based file sharing service. You may think that being cyber ready is inconvenient, but it's nothing compared to trying to recover from a cyber attack. Don't wait for a cyber attack to happen. Change your behavior and be cyber ready.